Hey y'all, what's up? It's Riley, and I'm back uh, a little earlier than five months after the previous video, like I had mentioned. Um, and I've got a review for you today, uh, which is exciting. I haven't done a review video in a good amount of time, and I've never done a review video for any sort of manga series, so this is going to be a first for the channel. Um, at the beginning of the year, I set out with a goal to read most, if not all, of my manga that I've collected throughout the rest of the year, and I've done really well to read at least a couple hundred, probably more volumes, and uh, the most recent series that I decided to knock off my list is the series Real by creator Takahiko Inoue. Inoue. Inoue? Inoue? However you pronounce his name, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, this is the most recent thing I've read. A little bit of background on that. Uh, this is actually the first series that I was ever exposed to of Inoue's work. Um, back several years ago, years and years ago, when the first volume, when this volume got published in the U.S., I picked it up on a whim at the bookstore, and I read it and I enjoyed it, but I never continued with it. I think that was because my bookstore stopped carrying it, and that's why I never got any more volumes. But fast forward years and years later, and I read the series Slam Dunk, which quickly became one of my favorite manga series of all time. Um, fantastic Shonen series. I don't want to talk a lot about that here because it's not a review for Slam Dunk. I can maybe do a video about that later on. But from there, I definitely wanted to go and get his other titles, obviously real. And then he also has the series Vagabond, which I've collected about half of in the Viz Big uh, format. So real is... Uh, so Real is, on the surface, it is a series about wheelchair basketball. That's, you know, you, you look it up on Wikipedia, it says manga series about wheelchair basketball. Um, but, and I, I don't say this in the way that you would say this about, like, a shonen sports manga like Slam Dunk or Eye Shield or Haikyuu or something like that, where you're like, oh, it's not really about the sport, it's about the characters and stuff. Real really is not about the wheelchair basketball. Um... Basketball in general in the, in the series is kind of like the connective tissue that brings together the three main characters. So we have three main characters who occupy this title. Uh, the first main character is a high school dropout uh, named Tomomi. I'm kind of bad at names, so if I mess someone's name up, I'm sorry. Uh, Tomomi. And uh, he's basically the guy who has nothing going for him. He was bad at school. He was kind of a bully. He got into a lot of trouble. So he drops out. He can't keep any jobs. But the one thing that he knows that he loves in life is basketball. So most of his free time is occupied by things relating to basketball. The second main character that we have is, um, is Togawa. And Togawa is a former track star, track athlete, who becomes sick, loses uh, one of his legs, and then we follow his story and his past as we see him eventually become a, uh, as we meet him at the beginning of the series, a wheelchair basketball player. And our third main character, and the one that I found his story to be the most intriguing and the most uh, absorbing out of the three of them, is Hisanobu. And Hisanobu is uh, kind of the opposite of Tomomi in high school. He's, you know, he's a great student. He's the star player on the basketball team. He's attractive, so the girls love him and everything. He's got everything he could want in school. But he gets into a little bit of trouble, and something happens, and he has an accident, and he loses the use of his legs. Um, and his story is, that we follow his story, is basically him going through the stages of uh, being in the hospital, going towards rehabilitation, and trying to rehabilitate himself to learn how to survive and how to 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 just get around and and be uh himself again in this new world um without the use of his the lower half of his body um so his nobu's story like i said is the for me was the best out of the three different stories that we get from these three characters and of course they're all connected by the tether of basketball and by wheelchair basketball um but you focus a lot more on just what the drama is that each of these characters is going through and for his nobu we spend a lot of time with him we see him after he has his accident. We see him as he wakes up in the hospital. We see him as he discovers that he's not going to be able to use his legs. We see him form new bonds with people who were formerly in his life and new people in his life. He makes new friends. He pushes himself and strives towards these new goals that he's developed for himself. Because that is actually a common goal in this series is 
working towards the goals that you create for yourself. We see um, with Tomomi, his goal is at one point in the series is to play professional Japanese basketball. With um, Tagawa, his goal is to, on his team, his wheelchair basketball team of the Tigers to defeat their rivals of the, the dream. And now for Hisanobu, he has, he struggles a lot with creating these goals for himself because a lot of what he goes through mentally is kind of coming to terms and coping with this new life that he finds himself in, in, you know, not being able to do everything that he used to do, not being able to play basketball, not being able to run around, not being able to walk, period. He comes to terms with that and it takes him so long to um, get to do what, what we consider basic things, just lifting yourself into a chair. He takes so long to, to reach those goals that he, he kind of forgets to set these larger goals for himself until he meets a, another uh, person that's in the rehab center uh, who's a, a, a professional wrestler named Scorpion. And Scorpion, of course, as a professional wrestler, is this huge muscle-bound guy, but all of a sudden he's lost the use of his legs as well. And it's not as bad as uh, Hisanobu, where he'll never be able to use them again, but he knows that there's a chance that he can be able to walk again. He just won't be able to wrestle the same way again. But he sets this goal for himself to be able to get up on his legs and walk around in three months. And this thing that happens right there with Scorpion giving himself this seemingly impossible goal pushes Hisanobu or Nobu to, to strive for his own goals. And we see him evolve throughout the series and push himself to be uh, stronger in many different ways, mentally and physically. And he finally develops you know, a goal when he discovers wheelchair basketball, when he discovers that this is a thing. It's not just a replacement for the basketball that he used to play, that this is a legitimate thing that a lot of people are, you know, there are teams that take this very seriously. Um, so that is a, a big theme, I believe, of the series is is not just reaching your goals, but creating those goals and to push yourself to do what you might think is impossible. So it's it's hard to call this a sports series. It, it is definitely a sports manga. And I know that that turns off a lot of people, but more so this is a drama and it is a drama about, you know, about depression and about overcoming all that kind of uh, adversity. And that is where Inoue is really successful with the series, is, is pushing those ideas. So with Slam Dunk, uh, Slam Dunk was very much a shonen series, and Inoue uh, in that series focuses on the sport itself, and it's about these characters and their growth and working together and you know defeating their rivals and, and playing the sport, playing basketball together. This series, it's very much focused on each individual of these three main characters, their stories, and it's not about the sport, but it's about their struggles. It's about what they go through. And Inoue does such a great job at displaying that drama that you, it's, it's very much like in, I've said to people before and people, they, they don't always kind of understand this, but with sports manga, you do not have to care about sports at all to be enjoying these series. I don't like sports. I don't care about sports at all. I, I, it's boring for me to watch. I've played most things and I just, I don't care for them. But sports manga are really intriguing and a lot of that is just how exciting it can be. And it's very much like watching a, uh, you know, an anime like Dragon Ball Z that's all about defeating the, the villain and, and, you know, Goku fighting Frieza and stuff like that. Um, in the sports manga, it's got the same kind of idea. You have your good guys, and they're striving to defeat the bad guys, quote unquote, which are just their their rivals and stuff. And there's a lot of excitement that goes on uh, with that. And with Slam Dunk, you get you know the the great choreography that he has with these just pulse pounding uh, scenes of these games where they're playing, and uh, you know you don't you don't know what's going to happen, and you're reading through so fast because it's just this great action-packed kinetic choreography. In real, you get that same you know, sense of drama and there's great choreography, but it's about much more intimate scenes. Like when Hisanobu is trying so intensely to lift himself up off of the ground with only his arms. And you, like, you feel that. And even though I don't have any uh, point of reference for myself of ever having gone through that and, you know, ever having really been in the hospital for anything, 
uh, let alone be becoming paralyzed. I feel for him. I feel that empathy for that character. And it, it just draws me in so much that I feel like I'm feeling that. I feel like I'm right there with that character, right there with him going through those uh, these struggles. And, and that's just so much right there of what the power of a great writer like Inoue is. They can make you feel something even though you, you have no point of reference, you have no, like, you know, I don't care about playing basketball, but I feel something for these characters and I feel excitement for these games. I know nothing about losing the use of my legs. I know nothing about wrestling. I know nothing about uh, being a track star. I know nothing about being a, a high school dropout, but I feel these things for these characters so well because he's got such a powerful sense of how to write these dramatic characters. And that's definitely where real succeeds. Um, so the series itself is currently on hiatus. It's not concluded in Japan just yet, though this is kind of a timely moment for me to have read it. I didn't plan it this way, but for me to have read it and be doing this review because the uh, announcement that he was coming back to the series and releasing a new chapter just happened like a couple weeks ago. And uh, the new chapter is, I believe, meant to come out in about June, so next month as I'm recording this video. Um, currently, there are 14 volumes. This is volume 14, the most recent release for the series. Um, each volume collects six chapters. I believe it's a monthly title. Uh, volume 14, according to the credits on here, was released like five or so years ago. So it's been a wait. And he definitely put us in a dramatic place for this wait, too, because you see, like, all of our three main characters kind of moving forward towards this, this apex where their storylines are definitely about to cross. And in that, he's done such a great job at having us follow and feel connection and attachment and emotional, like, just uh, attachment to these three characters that once their paths cross and the way that two of these characters paths are going to cross it's going to be really difficult to sit there and have like push for one of these guys to have success over the other um so that said i'm really excited now that i'm caught up and i've read up through volume 14 to see where he takes the series and where he has decided to move the the story and where he's decided to take his characters here. I don't know how much longer he's got behind the series. I don't know how longer it's much longer he's planning for it to go. Um, I'm hoping just for, for my sake as someone who just experienced the first 14 volumes that it's not too much longer so I can get that conclusion. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So it's it's returning soon. Uh, like I said, 14 volumes. Most of these volumes, as far as I, or all of these volumes, as far as I'm aware, are still readily available. You can order them uh online at many different retailers, Amazon. Um, I found a lot of them on eBay for cheap. Uh, in Stock Trades has them, I believe, Right Stuff Anime would have them. So you can definitely pick up the series uh, if you're looking for it. Um, and it is, the cover price is $12.99 per volume, so you're gonna get them uh, discounted for probably less than, excuse me, less than $10 uh, online per book. I know I got most of them for like, three or four dollars a piece because I was finding used library copies. So that's always an option when you're looking for, for manga online. Um, so I highly recommend the series. Uh, I could speak at length about it, but I don't want to go too much into any sort of spoiler territory for the story itself. Uh, I think that this is a perfect series for the non-sports fan. This is a perfect sports related series for someone who's not into sports because it doesn't focus so much on that. And if you're already a fan of Inoue through Vagabond or something, I'm sure that this is a great series for you. If you are a sports fan, if you do enjoy basketball, then this is also a great series for you. But uh, primarily, I've been I've mentioned this is like this is a sports manga for non sports manga fans. This is the one to like push you through the door uh, to to start enjoying this genre. So if you haven't checked it out yet and you've never checked out any sort of sports manga at all, I highly recommend it. I also highly, highly recommend Slam Dunk. I'm probably going to have to do a video on that series at some time because I love that series so much. Uh, anyway, thanks so much for uh, watching the video. I hope that this was entertaining and informative and that uh, I've pushed some people to pick up this great series. Uh, please leave some feedback as it is my first manga review. 
uh, on my channel, and it's the first book review I've done in a really long time. Uh, so let me know if there's anything that I could do a little bit better. I will try to uh, take that feedback into consideration with future videos. Um, otherwise, please uh, hit the subscribe button and watch out for more videos in the future. If you're not a manga fan and you're looking for more comic book content, I promise I will have more of that and you will also get more of that on the Omnibus Collectors Network where we do Omnibros Live. Uh, myself with several different uh, other gentlemen, uh, we do shows multiple times a week. Very rarely is it about manga, so you get plenty of Western comic uh, content over there. Um, so yeah, until next time, uh, you guys take it easy and we'll see you again later. Um. I don't know how my phone went off though. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like my dude, my phone does really <laughs> lately. Like it'll go off in my pocket and take like fifty pictures <laughs> of my pocket and like short videos. I I already deleted all the stuff that was in there. It was really <laughs> of course the moment that I get set up is the moment that they decide to make noise outside. <laughs>